So we just arrived here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and I'm really excited to work at this workshop called uh, Living Art City, and we're about to work with these five artists from Cambodia that focus on urban landscape, and I'm really excited to see what uh, the connection will be between art, Cambodia, and how I can use it within the urban design field. It's clear to me that really formulating an, a very unique and customized understanding of every specific space is so important to coming up with a very well-rounded intervention, right? So maybe this bomb pun experience is more about learning how to be sensitive of some of the cultural realities that they have here. And so if it's about a relationship with something like a bomb pond that can be both very emotionally sensitive because of the history that is beyond it, but then we see that they're actually really interestingly enough using it for some sort of productive reason, that example kind of informs the way of life or the culture here in Phnom Penh. Hi, my name is Lim Sakyan Lina. I am an artist working on a project called Rap Futures. And um, that series, uh, I was looking around and do a series on a fence around the cities of Phnom Penh. The main goal of working on this fan and giving the awareness to a people to understand how urban urban uh, have changed in Phnom Penh cities and how globalization has come in Phnom Penh city. Behind this is was they grow home. It's somehow a slum that uh, a lot of people living here, like uh, like thousands of families or something like like a thousand of families, and uh, then the government start to like have a partner with the investors and they want this this land they get, like they bring the, the big grant no? the, the what the, the the big truck and I just, just it's the house, the house. No. just sit the house kick the piece the people house put a new a very nice fan there I know that's it's funny amazing. right you never know I mean that's what's so strong about this what's going on behind this you're capturing this transition from this kind of utopia really to a new kind of city and you're, you're revealing something to the world about globalization and neoliberal economies and things like that because it's such trial and error because it is unplanned. Artists in Cambodia concerned with the city reflecting on urban change are not proposing solutions. They're proposing reflections. They're saying that my memory is changing, my city is changing, and it's, it's an ambivalence because it's happening to their life. Um, but it matters and they must do it. They all say, I just must do this. But I think urban planners and urban designers, especially coming from a, a, a different perspective from a distance, they're, um, they think practically and it's not their memory. And so this, this dialogue together can um, perhaps make something, um, make, make proposals for solutions. We work with five voices, five practices from the city that are, um, sound like they do or make like they do because of what is going on in the city at this time, right? So it's about the individual and their practice, but it's also about and the city is constant, cities are all constantly changing. And so, as so urban designers, our work is not always about like, fixing a problem we see right in front of us, but designing a system that, as these voices change, And 
Já, Matinha.